All right, I've got my Quadrino Zoom double-sided tape onto this board. And what it is, I plugged in, this wire goes to the receiver side, this wire with these, uh, like a speed controller or servo connectors goes on the motor side. Um, this sheet will be available on the website to print off, but I got it from Flying Einstein. It shows you what all the connectors are. Uh, for the motor side and the receiver side. So what I did is I started, I'm using a Spectrum, what did I got here, 6,000 receivers, it's a little bit old. As you can tell, this is a park flyer receiver, so I'm not going for distance with this aircraft because this, this receiver isn't made for distance. But anyway, um, went through here, we've got the first wire you don't use, or no, excuse me, the first wire is your red so I put that in my throttle positive and then the negative is the last wire the black wire it's the last wire that goes into your uh, throttle negative and then uh, each wire has got what it's supposed to be so you just plug it in so the next wire is green that goes in throttle yellow goes in aileron orange goes in elevator uh, kind of like a maroon color goes in rudder then what I did here is, this is only a six channel receiver, so I plugged the blue one, which is aux um, two, because into the gear switch, and then aux one pin, I plugged in the aux position. And you can do either one of these. Uh, if you have a seven channel radio, you can plug it into aux one and aux two. The difference is what your switch is. So my gear switch is a two position switch, so it's gonna be an on or off function. And aux is a three position switch, so it's gonna be, you know, maybe um, attitude hold, and then at the middle, flip it down, it's gonna be attitude and uh, altitude hold. So that's kinda of how I got that set up there. Uh, we'll come back to setting up these uh, the other items here.